What's up guys, you're watching another episode of Third Coast Fishing and today we out here in Surfside and we're gonna do a little bit of shark fishing. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. We're getting everything all rigged up and getting everything ready, getting the drone all calibrated and we're gonna drone some baits out today. So stick with us. All right, this is what we're gonna be using for some bait today. Check it out. All right guys, we got some Bonita we're gonna be using. We're gonna put this on the 500 pound leader. That's our new shark leader that we just came up with. We also got a couple of pieces of cow nose that we're gonna put out. We're gonna put this out on the 300 and probably the cast out. When I say 300, I mean the 300 pound leader. I'm gonna show you that that's also new. And we have a 500 pound leader that's coming out and a thousand pound coming very soon. We just order in all the hardware for that stuff too. So this is the third coast 500 pound leader. Check it out. All right, this leader comes in a 20 on, uh, 18 and a 16 on hook. Here we got the 20 on, and it's got two foot of double braided cable right here, triple crimped, great for bite force. I mean, if he bites through one of these, you got a backup, so that's awesome. A five foot bite leader, which is all 580 pound cable. We have six inches at each connection of double down, double crimped, and we are running, these are six aughts. These swivels are rated probably around, I think, 375 or 400, something like that. But easy to pull in a 500 pound shark, you know what I'm saying? Oh, there's Chris right there. Here's our 300 pound leader, which is also outfitted with a 20 odd hook. And this is doubled down about two inches, double crimped as well. We're running the four aught right there, swivel, which is th rated at 300 pounds. And this one's got a three foot section and then a seven foot section here you know with all your your goodies down here so go and hit the website and get some of your shark leaders www.thirdcoastfishingandtackle.com all right we're also going to be running these one pounders and these 12 ounces on here today we're going to be running the one pounders on the bigger leaders and we're going to be running the 12 ounces on the smaller leaders you can get both of these from Fishing and Tackle. These are fat boy weights. He's local here in Texas, man. So locally grown right here, baby. What up, it's Adventure Bro in the house. You already know Adventure Bro. Jeez. Let's go. He out here, we're gonna get some sharks today. So let's get, we got everything baited up. Let's get this stuff droned out and let's get onto some sharks, man. The water looking really good. Check that out. You can see that line out Bro, there. It's really, it looks really good. See that? It looked like poo poo up close. But out yonder, it looks really good. So hopefully that water pushes in. We're expecting a high tide in about an hour and a half, two hours. So we'll see. We'll see if it gets here. All right, here's a little trick some of you may know and some of you may not know. But this is to keep the bait and keep the hook exposed as much as possible. Let me get that rubber band. I'm gonna wrap it. Like this. Wrap it, wrap it tight as you can and you gotta put it through that hoop right there and that's gonna stop that from uh sliding unwantedly i can't even slide that so that's good He's running. Oh, all right. He had a hookup. He took off for a little bit. You got a little spread out there. Got Carlos down there. Shit. Man, I should have smacked him right away, bro. 
You gotta. I, I, I usually like letting them run a little bit and then. I, when I can do it, bro. And you know everybody there. Yeah. I just gradually put this bitch up. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. Just slowly, bro. Slowly, and you'll know because if you set the hook, you might pull it right out of his mouth. Yeah. But if you gradually put it, you're gonna drag it, and then it's gonna drag right into his mouth. Yeah, no, nah, I think he's so. gonna take it as a a, a hidden hidden comeback target. It's out here. That was a quick little Brandon one. Molina. What's up, man? From the jetties to the surf, baby. They said we couldn't do it. We out here. <laughs> ah, trying, trying, baby. Out here trying to catch some sharks. We got Brandon, Adventure Bro, Beach Bomber. Trying to catch some fish, man. Trying to catch some fish. Oh, yeah. No. He's on. He's out there. Oh yeah, oh, yeah I see the fin. What's up guys got that shark out here hanging with the boys at the beach That's what's up. We're gonna get it rigged up and get it back out there A good one good one good one yeah boys he's coming might be a sandbar probably that only thing that can be by you right now right. it's gonna be around the evening that start to pick it up yeah What's up boys look at that nice one oh man hell yeah hell yeah bring them
Here, you want to grab it? Uh, let me get that D-hooker. <coughs> Lift his mouth up. Yeah. You want to get the pig ranch? Yeah. The thing was about seven foot sandbar shark. It's the biggest shark today. Out of two, it was the biggest one. He was a nice one too. Beach Bomber and Gigi, appreciate them guys for giving me a hand. That's what's up. We still out here. We got two lines still in the water. So we're going to hope another one of these goes off. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. We're gonna get this real, real back end. Get everything loaded up, and we're gonna get out of here. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Peace.